it is six o'clock and I'm ready to hit the trail. Good morning. Got my bag fully packed. Just added the electronics in there that I had to charge some things last night for. Uh, within about five miles, um, I'm going to hit uh, a, a river stream crossing. That's called Lick Creek. The bridge washed out there in 2020. Um, last time I crossed it, it was perfectly fine. It's been raining off and on most of the night, so I'll see what I have when I get there. Uh, that's my only concern for the day, is that crossing. I'm off in the woods for two days. Bye, Sherry. <laughs> Gonna hang out for two days camping. Um, Gonna get to Chestnut Knob Shelter tonight. That's about 11 and a half miles. And that's a gorgeous view of Burke's Garden. Uh, I'm hoping the weather clears up enough for me to do that. Can you hear the whippoorwill? Listen. Whippoorwills have been singing this morning. So hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully uh, the weather's going to clear up. They weren't singing last night and it was raining and yucky. So get up hikers, hike. Yeah, get up, get up. I'm going to just double check things in here, make sure I've got everything because I am doing two nights unassisted and uh, see you outside. Beautiful out here this morning. I don't even need a jacket. It's warm. That's fantastic. Uh, it's been a while since I've had a full weighted pack on. So we'll, uh, we'll just say goodbye to Sherry. <laughs> Taking really good care of me. She's going to go find a place to camp out for a couple of days. Probably in a town outside of Bland. Um, there's a Cracker Barrel there she can stay at overnight, so that's good. Uh, just kind of explore that area a little bit. And uh, yeah, so I'll be in touch tonight. I'll have cell service tonight for sure, but none tomorrow. So, all right. Say our goodbyes here, and I'll uh, head off in the woods. In See you when I stars. find that first white place. Gonna outrun the rain. The trail is long, it's rocky, and it's steep. And there's a chance we'll lose our way. But I've been searching for something real to keep. And in my dreams, I got so much to say. Here on the road, I've seen miracles unfold. They show me what the singing's all about. In harmony, we'll find that sweet sunshine. I've come so far, no telling where I'm bound. Gonna all right, here's the first white blaze. Morning, AT. Thank you for another day out here on trail. Climbing right off the bat. Bunch of tents down below there. Definitely gonna have some company on trail today. Thankful it's not raining right now. Looking forward to these next couple days out here. This is the uh, it'll be the end of the 21 redo miles. And then a fresh start. Whew, fresh start for 23. Here we go. Let's get these last two days done. Walking through the fog here. That's really cool. I love the way the look and feel of everything changes with the changes in weather. You know, this just looks totally different. All covered in fog, even just looking up at the sky. You can see a little bit of mist and fog in between the trees. <clears throat> a little bit over a mile of climbing right out of the gate. 
levels off a little bit like this every now and again, but it's mostly up. I just walked past the Knot Mall shelter, uh, just a little bit back there. It's 7.15. There were no signs of life. Everybody's just sleeping in. Uh, rainy night, I don't know. Didn't get, didn't get to bed early, I'm not sure. But it sure is nice being one of the first ones out here on trail. Uh, other than the silk blazing, it really is nice to be out here first thing. Get to kind of see the, you know, see the, the woods kind of wake up and uh, and all the birds doing their morning things and the squirrels and the chipmunks. It's, it's really nice. Uh, yeah, so 7, 15, about an hour into my day. It's probably close to two miles. I think I've been doing a pretty good pretty good pace uh, on a section of trail that's pretty flat right now and uh, muddy. AT mud is different. It's very, very slippery. So um, I'm, I'm very gently placing my feet, making sure I don't, I don't slide. Uh, but yeah, day's going good so far. Not mall shelter. Everybody's sound asleep. I have a feeling I'm going to have a parade of people coming up behind me at some point today. Probably when I stop for lunch. That's a really cool bridge. Old. Look at all the moss on those rails. That's really neat. Over this beautiful creek here. And I happen to turn around. Look at these. Look at the, the fungus here growing on these on this tree. That's really cool. Look at the underneath. That's really neat. All the way up right there. It's pretty cool. Okay, crossing the bridge, being very careful because it is slippery, I can guarantee. Bridge closed. The AT footbridge over Lit Creek has washed out. Uh, so it washed out in 2020. We're three years into that washout. Sign back there says, uh, hikers should use common sense. Be prepared to wait out high water. Uh, backtrack if necessary. My beef with the ATC is if the AT is saying the Appalachian Trail footbridge has washed out. Why doesn't the ATC step in and do something to fix it? This is three years. So this was my fear point for the day, is crossing this creek. Because it's really not a creek, it's more of a stream. It's wide. Let's go see what it looks like after the rains last night. It wasn't a heavy dumping rain, but you don't know what happened up in the mountains and the runoff could have been enough to make it, you know, potentially sketchy. So let's go see. But I just wanted to say that. Yeah, that's my beef with the ATC. Come on. You know, we, we support you financially uh, through hikers are definitely, um, definitely what keeps you going. So why not work with organizations here locally to get that bridge fixed to make it safer for us to cross? That's all. Rant over. Here's where the bridge used to be. There it still is. Nobody's even removed it. Morning. Uh, so, doesn't look too bad to cross. Crossing will be over here. A little more shallow on this side. Yeah, so three years later, it's still there. Interesting. Yep, we're good. We're safe to cross. I've got my shoes on the pack. Socks and gaiters are in the back. Sandals on. Throw that on my back and ready to go. Beautiful stream crossing here. I enjoyed a nice little break, set my chair up, soaked my feet in the cold water. That feels amazing. Uh, and I ate my lunch. That was my pretty much mileage halfway point for the day. So I got that taken care of. Uh, it's 9.15. Heading off, I've got just about six miles left. That was five, about five and a half miles right there. And I've got about six more to go. So that was easy. Got it done. I stopped to spit out a bug I just inhaled and there's a snake. See him? Right there. A little tongue going. Hi, buddy. Hi, your tongue is very red. He's 
It's all coiled up. He's scared. Sorry. I mean to scare you. My first, uh, well, actually my second snake on trail. Sorry, buddy. My first trail snake actually on trail. Uh, the other one was on the, the bridge at the Virginia Creeper Trail. That was a big guy. This one was just a little thing. A little bit off trail. This little gnome home is still here. Good time for a breather. That's a long, steep uphill. Whew. I'll visit with these guys for a little while. What's it say? Happiness, good vibes. What's that last one say? Happiness, good vibes, adventure. That's cool. Just came out of the out of the woods there. Open field. I just checked my mileage. I've only got two miles left to go to get to Chestnut Knob Shelter. It's 11 o'clock. I'm going to be there way early. Uh, the water source for the shelter is just right up here. I'm going to stop and fill up because if I do decide to spend the night, I've got a long time between now and tomorrow morning. There's a lot of water I should be drinking between those hours, so... I'm gonna fill up my C-knock. I'll take a couple extra liters with me. But I've only got two miles left of the day. That's awesome. I did not video getting water. I did not video climbing up the remainder of this mountain. But I will video this. This is the overlook of Burke's Garden. Made it up to Chestnut Knob Shelter and it is Pretty dang gorgeous. Uh, it is noon. So in under six hours, I've done 11.7 miles. That's an early day to stop. I'm going to uh, reassess the upcoming mileage, see if I can make it to the Laurel Creek tent site today. That's another... Uh, Another 10 or 11, I don't know. But I'll see what I'll see what it looks like. I'll get back to you. Oh, here's the shelter, by the way. Let me go in and show you inside. I think there used to be a communications tower up here. There's uh, some footprints, cement footprints uh, outside. I'll show you where that is. And this used to be the caretaker's cabin or somebody that would come up and do maintenance or whatever. Um, but now it's a, a shelter here on the AT, complete with the door. The door will close. Somewhere there's uh, are boots hanging from the ceiling. Is this the shelter? No, somewhere there's an outlet drawn on the wall. Uh, I don't know, anyway, somebody left a bunch of stuff they didn't want. I have to shelter. There's my tent, all set up. Got dinner right here. I'm gonna eat that in my chair with a view. Does not get much better than this. Uh, dinner tonight is one of these ready wise meals. I've got the, uh, the noodles and beef variety with some mushroom sauce. Uh, this is 690 calories. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy. It's supposed to maybe rain. I'm not sure. We'll see. Keep fingers crossed it doesn't get too stormy tonight. All right, guys, I'm going to call it. I'm in the tent. I've had my dinner, brushed my teeth, hung the bear bag, done all my chores. I'm going to change my clothes, roll out my legs, do those things, and then uh, get editing this video, save it to the hard drive so I can go to sleep. I'm pretty happy to be spending the night here. I definitely did want to uh, spend the night here as kind of the 
the last night I spent in 21. Uh, kind of a, I don't know, an emotional thing for me or just a, a mental, a mental block I have to get past or, or something, uh, knowing that I, I'm, I'm going to be starting fresh after tomorrow. It's kind of nice to wind that down. I can't explain it. I, I don't know. It was definitely a little bit of an unemotional day for me, just, just kind of remembering how, you know, physically hard it was, uh, you know, the last, uh, like, the last day on trail for me, and uh, just struggling with the emotions around Sherry not being out here and, and all of that, and trying to plan on skipping forward to Massachusetts to get her back on trail and try to continue on. And so anyway, uh, I'm not going to get all into it, but I, I definitely wanted to spend tonight here, and then tomorrow night at the spot where uh, April and Sherry came and plucked me off trail in 21. I definitely wanted to spend these two nights here. Uh, personal reasons, emotional reasons, just something I felt I really needed to do to just kind of end the 21 redo and, and start fresh for 23. So thank you for following along. Um, I didn't do a lot today video wise so I hope you did enjoy the video it was kind of a weird day I, I can't explain it um, but I will uh, get my things done here and call it a night thanks for watching guys I'll see you on trail tomorrow Good night. gonna throw away the pain I'm living right cause I'm following my heart gonna outrun the rain gonna celebrate the changes on the highway of legends written in the stars gonna outrun the rain heroes that i know sing songs of long ago they lift me up and point me on my way though i cannot see it with my eyes i trust within my heart so i let go and let the music rule the day Gonna outrun the rain, gonna throw away the pain. I'm living right cause I'm following.